Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Palayo, for the Academic Excellence Awardees of STEM 12B. Let's have their advisor, Mr. Jasper D. Tapis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Academic Excellence Awardees of Grade 12 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics B. Ian Ramon G. Aureo. Franz Diego M. Kamat, with honors. France will also receive Academic Discipline Awards, Best in Social Science, and Best in Communication Arts, Filipino. Angelo J. II P. Parcon, with honors. <laughs> Angelo will also receive an Academic Discipline Award, Best in Arts. Nicole Claire G. Blancha, with honors. <laughs> Chanel Dawn E. Sederia, with honors. Chanel will also receive an Academic Discipline Award, Best in Athletics. Sirene Daniel L. Kunanan, with honors. Sirene will also receive an Academic Discipline Award, Best in Science. Kian Lexi A. Lim, with honors. Erin Angela A. Pablo, with honors. And to complete the list, Amanda Patricia D. Virai, with honors. Thank you and congratulations.
Now, for the Academic Excellence Awardees of STEM 12C, let's have their advisor, Ms. Judelaine E. Dabin. Good evening. The Academic Excellence Awardees of Grade 12 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics C. To start with, Gian Paul H. Sanchez with honors. Aina Sofia Elias I. Cabreto with honors. Maidel S. Sikor with honors. Edicia P. Siratore with honors. Andre Sand Ritz. D.C. Rivera with high honors. Andre will also receive an Academic science. Discipline Awards, Best in Science. And to complete the list, Joshua Gabriel M. De La Rosa with high honors. Joshua will also receive an Academic Discipline Awards, Best in Mathematics. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Caitlin Sparks, Mr. Jo Jason Ies, and Mr. Jojo Kalagi. Thank you also to our advisors. To voice out the sentiments of the graduating class, let us hear an important message from Joshua Gabriel M. De La Rosa. To my fellow graduates, teachers, guests, to the administrators and staff of the first aid unit, School Library, Guidance Office, Discipline Committee, Admissions Office, Accounting Office, Department Heads, Ms. Fides Faye B. Contapay of the Preschool Department, Ms. Wilma P. De Los Santos of the Primary Department, Ms. Maria Cristina C. Camangon of the Intermediate Department, Ms. Trinidad D. Cabaliza of the Junior High School Department, and our Department Head, Mr. Jojo L. Calage, and to our principal, Mr. Jason A. Ies, Ms. Villa A. Ingilio, Head of Administration and Finance, and our keynote speaker, Dr. Caitlin Sparks, a pleasant evening to you all. I guess most of you are expecting me to start this speech with an inspiring quote, an anecdote perhaps, a proverb, or an experience of mine that is life-changing inspiring and motivating. But honestly, I don't even think I deserve the chance to speak in front of you tonight. I see myself as mediocre and ordinary, but I was chosen to stand here and that, I guess, must mean something. Because of that, I would like to express my gratitude to the inventors of coffee, developers of Wikipedia and Google, my friends, 
the school, teachers, parents, and of course, God. One of the most ridiculous experiences we had as senior high school students is sleep deprivation. <laughs> this phenomenon had already caused us students to rely on coffee, and I would like to, take, to thank the coffee manufacturers for bringing life to the souls of the students we have here today. Despite being sleep deprived, we as senior high school students achieved a lot. Maybe this was our secret weapon in, in winning PIES, OCOR, MUN, PI Day, and the basketball and volleyball matches. I guess being sleep deprived is not bad at all. With that, let's continue to be sleep deprived. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that's bad, but hey, it helps. Our successes aren't only reflected in these competitions. We became successful in our researches. I know a lot of you guys are tired and exhausted, but we made it through. We did them thanks to our dedication, perseverance, copy-paste, Google, and Wikipedia. Without these things, we won't be able to experience this day. One of the horror, best horror movies that I've witnessed is me in a calculus class. It's that hard. We are grateful for barely passing calculus. We got challenged, mentally challenged. Things got spicy during our calculus quizzes and exams, but say no more, it's all over. We made it through this appalling course. But this is just the beginning of the horror train as we're about to meet the nightmares of these subjects. So let us pray for our future engineering students as they meet this nightmare once again in college. Although we're challenged, as a class, we develop strong bonds with each other and help build one another throughout the two years of our senior high school life. Let us thank our friends for being such amazing creatures that exist for us. Let us thank these humans for always being there, ready to support us during times of trouble, for keeping us company, and sharing wholesome experiences that we will always cherish and remember for the rest of our lives. Our friends are indeed the best. We would also like to thank our school for being such a wonderful school. This school had done a lot for us. Despite of the things we lacked, our school had supported us through thick and thin. Without everyone's hard work and contribution, to this school, its functions will not work properly. Again, we would like to thank the administrators, the faculty and staff of this school for your support. Of course, our senior high school teachers are also one of the best bunches of people we senior high school graduates had met. How can we forget Mom Aiko's fun-filled classes and lectures? Miss Lei, the comic book nerd who strengthened up our English. Mom Jo and her Filipino lessons that make us fluent in the language. Sir Jasper's how to start your own business and be the next owner of Apple. <laughs> Sir Mike's how to dance ballet and be the next winner of the Got Talent series. Mom Karen's how not to blow your house chemistry class. Mom Sarah's how to make the next big research paper. Mom Judy's explore the universe under the microscope. And of course, Sir Georgia's supportive brand of leadership. They had been our friends, our mentors, our second parents, our aunties, and our senseis. <laughs> Let us take this opportunity to express our gratitude to our teachers for all the laughter, lessons, happy moments that we had with them, for passing us and giving us high grades. Teachers, Thank you for being patient, caring, and supportive, despite us being lazy and such a headache. To our senior high school teachers and all of the teachers, thank you. No. <laughs> I'm not yet done, okay? Now, let us thank our sponsors for providing us food, money, and accommodation. Our parents. Our parents had given us a lot. 
they had worked hard for our education. Our parents, thank you for always being there. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for being patient with us. Words cannot describe our appreciation and gratitude for all you've done for us. Now, I would like to request all the parents of the graduates to please stand. Graduates, please give our parents a round of applause. Yes. Dear parents, you actually deserve the spotlight, not us. Because of your hard work and dedication, this day is possible. You may now sit down. Thank you. Finally, we graduates would like to thank God for giving us strength, knowledge, and wisdom to endure all of the hardships and challenges that senior high school had given us. Without his help, we would not be able to meet this day successfully. Through him, we made all things. Through him, we became successful. We're now about to enter a new chapter in our lives. Isn't it ironic that it's both exciting and scary at the same time? A lot of us are really threatened by any mathematical subject, but somebody once said, Math is like life. You add the lessons you've learned, you subtract the negative or bad influences, divide your time wisely, and multiply your purpose by sharing it to others. And that somebody is a math-loving geek standing in front of you today, me. Thank you, congratulations, good luck to us all, and God bless. Thank you, Joshua, Gabriel, and Dolorosa for the very wonderful speech. Truly, your friends, your teachers, your school, your parents, and of course, God, we are always here for you. So this night won't be complete without a song that greatly represents the hearts of our graduates. The song they are about to sing is I Believe. I Believe is a song sung by the Canadian jazz pop singer Nikki Yanofsky. Aside from being played and sung for both the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver and the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, this song has also been an emblem of hope and perseverance. Graduates, please stand for the singing of the graduation song and the offering of your diplomas to your parents. May we please have on stage Denise Honor to lead the singing. Amen. When my heart will stand alone On this lonely path I've chosen Like a house that's not a home Sometimes when I feel I've had enough And I feel like giving up You will me to be all I can 